I'm Fidaus. Hi, I'm Fikri. Hi, I'm Narashiki. Hi, I'm Tina Silva. And hi, I'm Shafika. We are at... Yeta! For... Water Pollution! Approximately 71% of the Earth's surface is made up of water in various types of form such as ocean, river, lake and stream. The numerous amount of water in the planet prove that the importance of water in the life of the living things. In fact, water is one of the three main pillars of the human needs. Despite covered much area of the planet, only small part of the water can be used to fulfill the necessity of living things, human especially. This happened because only 97.5% of water is available is a saline type and only 2.5% of them are fresh. Generally, water provides the basis for many human activities such as agriculture, energy production, commerce, industry, transportation and recreation. The sources of water basically can be categorized into three main parts which is surface water, groundwater and rainwater. Surface water, in short, is the water that can be found on the surface of the planet. While, groundwater is the water that presents beneath the Earth's surface. And, rainwater is the water that undergoes process of condensation from atmospheric water vapor into that further precipitated into form of droplets. All form, the, all form of water in this world fundamentally are connected to each other in the cycle called hydrological cycle. Even being so much important to human, water nowadays become polluted and contaminated mainly because of human doings. Rather than affecting an individual species, water pollution generally attacks the entire biosphere communities. Sources of water In general, surface source of water can be divided into three main categories which are surface water, groundwater and rainwater. In Malaysia, at present or even before, surface water has been used as a prime source of water. Although surface water, groundwater and rainwater are water, all of them do have different entities physical, chemical and biological. Surface water The storage of surface water on earth generally are river, lake, freshwater, wetland and reservoir. Non-saline surface water primarily is replenished by precipitation and by recruitment from groundwater. On the other hand, the volume of surface water is lost either through evaporation process, seep into ground, being used by plant for transpiration process, extract by mankind events or discharged by into sea. Although those natural phenomena primarily governed by total amount of surface water, the volume of surface water in the storage also dependent into several other factors such as the storage capacity, the permeability of soil beneath the storage bodies and the runoff characteristic of land of watershed. Nowadays, contamination of water bodies, particularly surface water, has reached the worrisome stage. This form of environmental degradation primarily happened because of direct and indirect pollutants that discharge into water bodies without going through significant adequate treatment into remove harmful compounds before. The surface water pollution in fact is indeed a major global problem as it's associated into death and disease. On average, 14,000 people are dying because of water pollution impact daily, which 550 people are predicted from India. China also has a serious surface water problems as 90% of the available water is polluted. In fact, during 2007, half billion of Chinese had no access to safe drinking water. Surface water basically has characteristic of variable composition, low mineral content, high turbidity, colored, presence of dissolved or oxygen, low hardness, and has taste and odor. Second is groundwater. 
Under the name groundwater, the type of water is also recognized by the word subsurface water. In short, groundwater is water that flows within aquifers below the water table. Means the range of groundwater basically is the pore space of the soil and the rock, which are the unit salt and rocks that can yield a usable quantity of water also as a fire. Although having the best feature among all types of sources of water, groundwater at present is also encountered the serious risk of the pollution. Make it more complicated, groundwater storage are out of sight. Sight, hence trouble the management process. Researchers clearly that the pollution of groundwater happen mainly because of overdraft of the sources. The biggest consequences happen because of the doing is low water table beyond the reach of the existing wells. Groundwater is generally have features of constant composition, high mineral content, low turbidity, low color, no presence of dissolved or oxygen, high hardness, and has high presence of ferrum and man mangan. Rainwater. Since before, rainwater has always been the major sources of fresh water supply for Earth. Regardless of that fact, there is always problems related to the intensity of rainwater. Studies show excessive rainwater will further cause flooding, while lack of rainwater may cause drought. Despite being non groundwater, rainwater can also be polluted. By means, the, the rainwater can be acidic due to the emissions of sulfur acid and nitrogen oxide into the atmosphere that later react with the water molecule. Generally, acidic rainwater can cause harmful impact on plants, aquatic animals, and even to the infrastructure. The most affected area of acidic rainwater in the world has been recognized as Poland, uh, United States, Canada, China, and Taiwan. Rainwater, in short, has characteristics of variable compositions, low minerals content, low motability, colorless, presence of dissolved of oxygen, low hardness, and has taste and odor. Water pollution, in short, is accumulation of one or more substance in water that cause problems to living things in extent. Water typically is a color polluted as when it is empowered by anthropogenic contamination hence does not support human needs. This is the image of water pollution. Yeah, so bad right? Okay, I will proceed for my next point. It's about source of water pollution. Okay, in general, there is a several events that causing water pollution such as sewage and wastewater discharge marine dumping, industrial waste release, radioactive waste disposed, oil pollution, underground storage leakage, atmospheric deposition, global warming, and last but not least, eutrophication. Essentially, there is a two prime source of water pollution, which are point source water pollution and non-point source of water pollution. It's referred to the contaminant that enter a waterway from a single and identifiable source such as pipe from sewage treatment or factor. On the other hand, non-point source of water pollution is defined as diffuse contamination that does not originate from a single discrete source such as the leaching out of nitrogen compound from fertilized agricultural land. Oh, that's all. Thank you. Every problem do have a solution. So that's the water pollution. Uh, there are several activities that can be used in practice or particular law that can be drafted to solve the current waste pollution problems. The first step for make people aware to the current problems of the water pollution is by education. Nowadays, there are many organizations, either government or non-government, that remains educate, educates and encourage members to have a better attitude towards water, such, towards water, such as World Natural Organization, Freshwater Associate, and H2O for Life. Another step that can be taken to reduce the seriousness uh, of water pollution is by laws. 
there are several environmental laws that can be taken proved to be really effective in preventing people to pollute such as UN Convention of the Law of the Sea, London Dumping Conventions and MARPOL, MARPOL, International Conventions for the Prevention of Pollution from Ships. And lastly, the steps that have been agreed by the most environmental expert is polluter pace. Polluter pace principle. By means, however, causes the pollution should pay to clean up it. To put it in easy words, a tanker owner should have to take out insurance to cover the cost of oil spill, cleanups and shoppers have to pay for their plastic grocery bags. This method unlimitedly will deter people from polluting as it less expensive for them to behave in an environmentally responsible way. That's all for me. Thank you.